Hi guys, today's video is for a brand called Legalion, and the fragrance we're reviewing is called Sortilege, and I'm reviewing this fragrance with my uh, frequent collaborator, Kara. This is a fragrance that she really loved, and this fragrance is for women, for the ladies. This video was delayed, it was shot late 2016, unfortunately it was delayed, but today it's making it live. We had some issues with some of the footage and sort of uh, little hiccups. But it's live now, so hopefully you'll watch it and uh, participate in the full bottle giveaway uh, worldwide. So Kara and I shot a first impressions video of many uh, Legalium I think I made like eight or nine or something like that. Yeah. We really enjoyed a lot of them. This was my favorite. And her favorite was <laughs> Sortilege. So Sortilege was launched in 2014. Legalium fragrances, a lot of them are revampings of older fragrances from this house we used to be uh, making perfumes, but it was, I guess, folded. And then they resurrected the brand uh, a few years ago. When I was visiting Paris like two, three years ago, I bought a little sampler set and that's how we did the, mm -hmm. the review of. They had like eight or so fragrances in there and all the fragrances really loved them. They have a very classic touch to them, but they're very modern takes on those classics. And, and of course this one is a re redo of their original from 1937. So the fragrance retails in the States for $180 and the top notes we've got aldehydes, lily of the valley, lilac, ylang ylang. In the middle notes, we've got jasmine, narcissus, rose, iris, mimosa. In the base notes, we've got sandalwood, vetiver, labdanum, musk, and amber. So this was actually not my favorite fragrance, but it was a really, really great fragrance. But you really love this one. I love this one. I think it's, uh, you can feel the history. You can feel can the I, history. Can I, can I yeah, spray this? Let's spray it and let's smell, smell it. Yeah, no, it definitely feels retro. And it's really rosy. It's really rosy. The aldehydes, I think, are kind of backseat almost. No, I don't see that. Don't the see aldehydes that. are more in the front for me, and Interesting. I'm hardly getting any rose. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but we as, rarely disagree. But <laughs> that's but there it is. But it, that's not to say it's it's bad or anything. Oh, no, it's no, just no. the way I'm experiencing this fragrance. This is a very classic fragrance. It is. It just, it smells like such a canonical perfume, you know? The structure is very, very Parisian. It's just, it reminds me of like old, it's almost like silent movies or something, right? Now I get the aldehydes. You don't get any rose? The rose is very faint for me, I'm not sure why, but um, to me it's all about the aldehydes. It actually, anyone that's into the Chanel number no. 5, into the Kalesh from Hermes, is going to like this one. Because it hints at those fragrances, even though it's not exactly the same. They're definitely not identical. But to me, this is very much more wearable even than Chanel number no. 5. This is a, it's palatable. This is more classy, right? Yeah. Chanel number no. 5, is, 5 is just like overdone. It's like, its own beast. But this one's really nice. Did you yeah. get a powdery? I mean, I think the iris is pretty dominant here. Yeah, and that's very powdery. And the iris being in here is reminding me of the Moulin Rouge. Mm. The girls that are dancers there and they're kind of powdering up and maybe spritzing some perfume on. Oh, how fanciful. That's I what like I'm, that. That's what I'm getting I with like this perfume. That. For me, it reminds me of like a woman getting ready and putting on her makeup. And maybe. Yeah, powdering her let me Let me spray some on my rest and see. So as you can see, these bottles are also really gorgeous. This is a very unique bottle to me. Um, they're kind of long and tall Ooh. and long, I think, and of I course love the this. box. This is really good. I and um, I don't have any, any other fragrances that are like vertical. cylindrical like this, like <laughs> vertical. vertical yeah. And sometimes when you have fragrances that are kind of long, they kind of are wobbly, but this one's actually not very wobbly. It does sit. It's nicely weighted. That's so good. Yeah. Now on my hand, it's not as aldehydic. I'm getting more of the, I guess, the other flowers. And the mimosa mm -hmm. is kind of big also. I feel like mimosa 
feels retro sometimes. It does. That's really nice. But I like the way this this wears. I'm. It is a feminine fragrance. It is. I feel, and I also feel like you could wear this day or night. It's totally a day it's, or night. It's dressy, but it's also subtle enough that you could wear it like it's work. I friendly. I think it's a very signature worthy kind of a scent. Like if yeah. it, if you're the type of person that only has one or two fragrances to wear, and you have one that you pull for every day, that's the kind of fragrance that you would pull for. Something classy like this, and uh, you'd wear it every day of the week, and people yeah. kind of know you from your scent and recognize you that you're coming down the hall or something, if you work in an office environment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this one. I like it a lot. Do you not picture the, the Moulin Rouge? Oh, and... yes, I can totally get that. You do get that? Mm -hmm. The powder? To me, it seems more, it feels more intimate than a big show. Huh. It feels like... We're, we're kind of contrasting on this. personal, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more personal experience. Mm -hmm. It smells great on me. It smells really great on you. But it's both it's making us both think about a story, so that says something. That's great, yeah. I really like it. So the brand Le Galion again is a resurrected house yeah, from that's Paris. So cool. So they used to make perfumes in the early nineteen hundreds. They went out of business or something happened. I don't know the history that well. And they brought it back. Nicolas Chabot is his last name. Has I think he's the guy the main guy behind the brand and he's brought back this brand. And I first experienced it in Paris at the Jevois Boutique in Paris and where I bought the, the sample set of like eight fragrances. And that's how we did that review of the first impressions. And now finally it's hitting the States and it's 180 for a 100 mil bottle. So the pricing is also good. It's not over 200. Mm -hmm. So it's niche and great and classy it's really bottles. really high quality. Yeah. yeah. And this is Eau de Parfum, 180 plus tax. So it's a great deal. And the boxes are really sillage. nice, too. And, and pretty, yeah, like a boat. I think that means boat. Is it a kind of nautical theme? or? I think so. I mean, they have this like there is a beautiful ship. little ship with masts on it, on the... Logo. Yeah. Isn't there a boat called the Galleon? Maybe. I think there is. I need to get I better. I could be wrong. I need to get better in French. You can correct us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a great brand. I think you should check out um, that, since, especially since they're available now finally in the States. Yes. I, actually, I didn't mention this. I absolutely really love the name Sortilege. Mm. Do you know what? Do we know what Sortilege means? I think we we knew last time, and then we I forgot. We forgot. Should we look it up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the practice of foretelling the future from a card or other item drawn at random from a collection. Interesting. That's awesome. That's this whole mystical tilt on this. Interesting, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, well guys, thanks so much for watching this video, as I said. Uh, please participate in the giveaway. Uh, Nicholas is doing one full bottle giveaway, or the brand Le Calion is doing one full bottle giveaway for one lucky subscriber valued at $180. Uh, so you shouldn't miss out on That's this one. Deal. So all you have to do is put a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Of course, uh, list your state and put in the comment why you want to win this. What is it about Sortilege that you like? Because you're a huge fan of the heavy metal band. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard their music before. Me neither. I never even heard about them before. <laughs> anyway, in three to five days, we'll run the randomizer and we'll select the first person on the list as the winner of one 100 minute bottle of Sortilege. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this review for Sortilege. Thank you, Kara, for coming by. Thank you. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video and share it, and we'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Hi, guys, it's Sebastian and Kara. Hi. Looking, feeling, smelling great. We're back with another video. <laughs> Well, okay. Sortilege was a French heavy metal band. Wait. <laughs> Can you say that one more time? Oh. Hmm. Sortilege was a French heavy metal band from Paris, regarded by many as a cult band of the French scene. Wow. That's not this particular. I don't think that that's a... This came out in the 30s. Yeah, I don't think that's what 37. Hold on. <laughs> Just... The practice of foretelling the future from a card or other item drawn at random from a collection. Interesting.
that's awesome. That's this whole mystical tilt on this. Interesting, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, well, guys, thanks so much for watching this video, as I said. Uh, please.